Hi, OneHourSmartHome.com here, and today what we're going to do is show you how to strip a wire. What we've got here today is some wire strippers, a utility knife, and 14-2 wire. This is 14 gauge, two conductor wire, and a ground. You can see it in there. We'll open it up and you'll be able to see it more. 14-2 gauge wire is probably the most common wire that is used in homes. Sometimes 12 gauge wire is also used, but 14 Two is pretty standard. And this is used for light switches, light fixtures, and outlets, all kinds of stuff throughout your home. So in order to strip a wire, the first thing I usually do is take my utility knife and just create a small slit on the outer shielding of the wire. And the reason that I do that and don't go too far in there is because I don't wanna damage the insulation underneath that wire if I'm going to use it. And then I just take my hands and I peel back the jacket as far as I need to in order to access the conductors underneath. So now you can see there is this other layer which is just paper and you peel that back too and that's gonna expose the wires themselves. So here we've got the white wire which is typically the neutral wire. We've got our black wire which is typically the hot or load wire and we have our unshielded ground wire. Sometimes this will be in a green conductor or a green insulated jacket for this unshielded ground conductor. So in order to strip a wire, you've peeled back the jacket. You can just go ahead and trim this off with your utility knife as needed and just take it like so and trim it off, okay? And you can go ahead and rip the paper off or tear whatever you need to off on that part of the jacket. You can also just use your utility knife like so, cut that off, and now we've limited the excess. In order to strip these wires, if you have a light switch, you're going to strip it according to the gauge that's on the back of the light switch. So typically on a light switch, you've got something that looks a little bit like this. All right, it says strip gauge. And you would put your wire up there and you would strip the wire to that length right on top of there. We'll zoom in, try and show you. This is the strip gauge. So I would strip it approximately that long, which is a little bit more than three eighths of an inch. So I go ahead and I take my wire, I uh, get it to a point where I wanna strip it. And since I know the gauge on this, you can see there are numbers on this wire stripper. It says 12, 10, 14, 16, 18. I know this is 14 gauge wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the 14 gauge hole. Now you can see there's an angle on these strippers as well. There's a slight angle to the blade. It's easiest to strip the wire if I go along with that angle. So I know that approximately I need to strip this much off for that and I just rotate a little bit and I can pull off that jacket now and then that wire is stripped. Now let's check it with our strip gauge. Okay, so I am pretty close. I need to strip off a little bit more according to this. All right, so if I need to strip off more, I just go ahead, place it in the 14 gauge hole again, and I'd say I need to take about that much more off. Okay, I pull that off, and now I can check my strip gauge again here, and it looks like that is pretty much perfect for how much wire we need to strip off. So that is how you strip a wire. Now, you could just remove the rest of this, or you could leave it as is, um, to leave the protection there, but you wanna make sure that this is fully contained anywhere that that jacket is cut or insulation inside your junction box. Whenever you make this cut as well, you wanna make sure that there is no damage that's done to the jackets or insulation on these other wires. Otherwise, you can have a short circuit or malfunction with these wires. So let's go ahead and do it again to the neutral wire. This time, I'm not gonna use the strip gauge. We'll just show you in detail again how to use it. You go ahead and you place the wire in there and you can see how there is a slant to the cutters. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place that in there according to that slant and that will make it easier to strip this wire off. Sometimes you give it a slight rotation depending on how sharp your blades are and then you just pull off and now you have stripped that wire nice and clean so that you can use it on your electrical projects. Now, uh, you might wonder what some of these other holes are on this device. Well. The hole here is so that you can actually make loops if you were going to go around a light switch and use it on a terminal, okay? So that loop can then be used to go around one of these screws, like so. Uh, that is what that tool is for. 
And you can also just bend wires with this plier tool on the end where it's not cutting them if you need to take a loop out or something like that. So thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed. Please like, please subscribe, and we will see you next time at onehoursmarthome.com. Thank you.